When taking the leap into the world of entrepreneurship, it's crucial to steer clear of certain businesses that pose significant challenges and risk. While every business has its potential for success, some demand more resources, expertise, and perseverance than others. For new entrepreneurs, I would steer clear or approach these three types of businesses with caution. Let's kick off with perhaps the most notorious industry, restaurants. Despite their allure, restaurants present a formidable challenge for newcomers. With a staggering 80% failure rate within the first five years, the odds are undeniably daunting. The fierce competition coupled with high customer expectations makes standing out extremely difficult. Even a single mediocre dining experience can deter potential repeat customers in a saturated market. I recently tried out a new restaurant that got great reviews on Instagram. I brought my immediate family to the restaurant expecting a great time. After all, Instagram is never wrong, right? <laughs> I was really excited to experience the food and culture, especially since the food and decor reminded me so much of my own culture. At the end of the meal, Everyone in my family all had the same response. The food was just okay. Not bad, but just okay. How many times have we been to a restaurant and the food is sim simply okay? The chances that we visit that restaurant again is very low. That's really the crux of dealing with restaurants. They only get one chance to make a first impression. There are too many restaurants competing against each other. So if your food is just okay, the chances of the restaurant surviving is very low. I think we all have an experience such as mine. I always ask myself, why would someone open a restaurant and the food is subpar? The reality is most owners who open a restaurant thinks their food is actually amazing. But that's what happens when you only listen to your family and friends. If owning and operating a restaurant is your dream, then go for it, but please solicit feedback from people outside of your immediate circle. Talk to people who actually have experience in the restaurant industry. Okay, the second one. I know not too many people are gonna like this, but daycare centers. These establishments come with a host of regulations and operational challenges. Maintaining strict child to staff ratios, complying with safety standards, and managing employee absenteeism are major hurdles. Let me share a personal experience. My cousin opened a daycare only to struggle with regulatory delays and staffing issues. Unlike other businesses where staff can cover for absent colleagues, daycare centers have rigid child to teacher ratios. A single absence can disrupt operations and put you at a compliance risk. This highlights the intense pressure of maintaining quality care while navigating regulatory demands. Despite your passion for childcare, it also demands a level of responsibility and attention to detail that can be overwhelming. You are fully responsible for other people's children. Particularly for new entrepreneurs, the thought of shouldering such a significant responsibility should give you a pause, considering there will be so many other important tasks on your plate as a new business owner. The third business I think you should avoid, learning centers. Learning centers like Kumon or Sylvan, which have encountered significant challenges in the wake of the pandemic. Once highly regarded for their educational enrichment, these centers now grapple with declining enrollment and stiff competition from online platforms. Their standardized approach often fails to meet the diverse needs of individual students, leading to a sense of dissatisfaction among customers. Consider my own experience. I used to enroll my child in a learning center when she was younger, seeking to enhance her education. However, since the pandemic, we haven't returned. The shift to remote learning and the abundance of online educational resources have transformed the educational landscape. In fact, I recently came across a learning center for sale with the owner practically giving it away. Upon closer examination of the financials, it became evident that profit margins were very slim and the stress associated with running such an establishment outweighed any potential benefits. While learning centers have traditionally been valued for their academic supports, the challenges posed by the pandemic 
and changing educational trends have raised questions about their sustainability. For aspiring entrepreneurs, the allure of purchasing a, le a learning center must be weighed against the realities of tight margins and demanding operations. While success is attainable in any of these industries I mentioned with dedication and strategic planning, certain businesses demand a higher level of resilience and expertise. By recognizing the inherent risk associated with businesses like restaurants, daycares, and learning centers, you can make informed decisions about where to invest your time and resources. Remember, entrepreneurship is about calculated risk, not blind leaps of faith. Thank you for tuning in.